Why did I want to participate? Well, to be honest with you, I wanted to participate because I'm just a regular guy and you wouldn't know it until you see me in the uniform and realize that I'm a soldier. It feels really good to put on this uniform every day knowing how hard I worked to earn it um, and knowing what this uniform stands for and I've always just wanted to be part of something that was bigger than me. The characteristics of a warrior would have to be mentally tough. Um, it's a really hard job. Uh, it can be mentally draining. Um, long, you know, uh, there's a lot of times that you don't have contact with your family or I can't just go see my family. Um, like right now I'm about to deploy in three days for the next nine months to a year to Afghanistan, you know, and it's hard to say bye to your parents and stuff and knowing that they're worried if you're going to come back. So it's, it's really, it's, you got to be mentally tough. Um, I would say it's more of a mental game than a physical because you could have all the muscle strength in the world, but if you ain't mentally tough to handle the situation, it's going to drain you. The sacrifices that soldiers make that people don't realize would have to be, they give up literally their whole life and rights and everything. I didn't realize how much it meant to be a soldier until I, I, I was taking it as it was just going to be a job. But then I found out that it was not a job, just a job. It was my whole life changed. I can't care. I can't go out to the bars and, you know, do idiotic things. I can't, you know, uh, go to parties where, you know, something might happen or I have to carry myself a certain way. Uh, you know, the military pretty much controls everything I do. If I am told to do something, I really don't have a choice in the matter. I have to do it regardless of if it's dangerous or whatever something that I have to do so yeah I think uh, soldiers make a lot of life changes to be in the military period I I honestly just do it because I love what I do I mean I get to work with some of the best men and women ever I've ever met so for me um, just being a part of the organization and working with these amazing people is what makes my job awesome and knowing that uh, I'm a part of it as well is a bonus <laughs> so yes I'm proud to be an American the reason I would say I'm so proud to be an American is because when I joined the military you didn't really realize how many people um, from all over the world join just to become American citizens. I have friends that are from Germany and all over and these people joined to fight next to me just to become an American citizen. Like, and that's how much it means to these people. And so for me, being an American citizen already and seeing all the struggles that these people have had to go through just to become an American citizen is, yeah, I mean, it's mind blowing. <laughs> so, um, I love my country. I mean, it's the only place like this and I've traveled all over the world and I've seen what other places are like and America, there's nothing like it. So what did I tell my mom and dad before I left? Well, that's a very good question. And I actually just said bye to my dad today. And I told him I loved him and I gave him a hug. And he hugged me back and he was just like, don't do anything stupid over there. I know how you are. And 
I just reassured him that it was gonna be okay and I'll be back. <laughs> so what he meant by how you are is I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie so I like to always put myself in situations where it could be dangerous or you know life-threatening. Uh, I'm a risk taker and I don't know I mean you got to kind of be a risk taker or adrenaline junkie to join the military because what else you're signing up to go to war for your country. <laughs> I'm afraid of... Hmm. I'm afraid of losing my dad or mom or one of my family members uh, while I'm gone and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> that's one thing that's crossed my mind that's worrisome or just something happening to where I can't help. That you or, have no control. Right, no control yeah. at all. That's honestly what scares me is just not having any control. The changes that people could make to show their appreciation is if you do meet a soldier or whatever, thank them for their service. I mean, that's one. I always, you know, feel good when somebody thanks me for my service because it lets me know that I'm, you know, doing something that I should be proud of. Um, another thing too would be don't listen to everything you see in the media about burning the flag and all that stuff. Like, that just makes us mad. I'll be honest with you, I haven't watched the NFL ever since they kneeled for the, the flag. And I know a lot of soldiers that haven't. And we just kind of feel like, you know, um, you're getting paid millions of dollars to throw a football around. And we're out here busting our ass and risking our lives for what? If you don't even care. So they have the right to do it. Right. Yeah.